There she is. She's walking. Who is that lady, Emmy? That is Velvet Crow, which is like an incredibly ruby name for this non-ruby video game. <laughs> I think there are, in fact, a character. Treat yourself, too. Oh. Tails. Tails. Goodness. It's very menacing when it says that. <laughs> License. So do I post that treat yourself to more to Tails goodness? <laughs> more date.zone goodness. Yeah. With Tales of Berseria. Bird. B E R S E R I A. B E R. B E R S E R I A. Okay, so I got it right. on yes it is yep. game I like the thing that just says game games hello games. hello <laughs> hello it's tails it's tails it's a good tails I mean a week goodbye Sasha <laughs> Sasha does not want to watch tails I mean, I'll watch Tails. I just also need to eat. She's hungry. She's hungry for Tails. Me too. <laughs> More Tails goodness. More. <laughs> New game. Okay, it has settings. When you start the game. That's nice. Battle difficulty. Normal. That's fine. Input, bu input buffer window. Or buffering commands during combo. Do we, do we have uh, combo tech? Yes, in this video there is game? combo tech in this game. I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> Let me look up uh, Evo footage of this. <laughs> I like that these said uh, it. It does not tell you what these two what these two buttons do. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, game. I don't know why, but that reminds me of how Battle Monsters has, like, three or four specific jumps, but the controls don't tell you that. <laughs> Instead, all of them are just jump, 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 jump. <laughs> Sash, look at how there's two commands that it does not tell you what they do. Mm -hmm. Also, uh -huh. just use arts, use arts, use arts, use arts. That is, um... Is it Peter Arts? <laughs> Very specific. Not, spe not specific enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, fashion. Fashion, sure. Uh, probably battle difficulty, like, easy. Yeah, sure. Because we are on a stream, we don't want to spend streams grinding. That's true. Vibration, on. Map camera rotation speed, whatever. Normal, not inverted. Camera auto adjust. Uh... Do you guys prefer the map camera to turn, or do you prefer it to be static? Like in in video games uh, in general. I kind of prefer static. Yeah. I have no real preference. It makes it kind of easier for, uh, uh, we'll try to trying to get our bearings, I suppose. Oh, that's nice. You can huh. turn off the controller, um, controller speaker. Which is good, because I'm not a big fan of that. My voices are five star. It sure is. <laughs> Speaking of voices, if there are anybody out there that can confirm if our sound is good. Yes, please. I'm going to send the link to a couple people. <laughs> I blanked out posting a promo for this. I just posted tales of some stuff. 
That's fair. <laughs> That's all you got to know. There's stuff happening. <laughs> So, I'm ready when you guys are. We're ready. I'm as ready as I could ever be. Start the game. Oh, love killer set. <laughs> Let's get started on a very sad experience of a very sad girl. Who uh, really likes to kill people. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> That, that man just roared. <laughs> demons. Diamonds. Diamonds. Matt Diamonds. How did both of you fall? Sarah Bryant is c concerned. I'm going back to help Seneca. I'm so scared. Arthur, please. Arthur. <laughs> he looks like an Arthur. <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. You want this tomato I found on the ground? Seneca enchanted Or it's an himself. apple. <laughs> Either way, I think it's pretty neat. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. He will. Sure if you're ever about to die, just eat a big ol' apple. Now have I ever lied to you? I'll come back for you once Celica is safe. Did the camera just do like a weird point of view thing where he's like, if I ever lied to you and it like Yeah like, <laughs> Don't despair. No matter what. That's really funny. Cause that is a big thing for a small for me. Is that the camera to answer people you nod or shake the camera? <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. That that game was uh called by uh creator a nod and shake simulator. Yeah. <laughs> what was the horror game that you had to blink? It's like a lot of them nowadays. <laughs> it's like an old one, though. It's like a 360 one, I think. Maybe even older. Straight of horror. Someone did a scream. She screamed. That's good. <laughs> I like whatever that is. He doesn't. It's too bright. Making me so mad. Oh. That's what happens when you get sensory overload. Yeah, I think I turned in a little werewolf in the middle of a target once. Anyway, we're now in a pit, I think. I love her. Why don't you beat up that, that, that dog? <laughs> On that day, the world began to change. Then mankind refused to, uh... <laughs> they blamed it on the beast. <laughs> yeah. Hunting and killing anyone they could. I got a mouth in my hand. Even in the death oh, she sucks blood like, um... Two things matter to me. But they really suck blood. Sucks everything. The taste yeah. of blood soaked to flesh. You may be wondering how I got myself into this situation. <laughs> you hear Bob O'Reilly, but then it just, like, immediately cuts. He's like, yeah, I don't remember either. <laughs> Time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning. Morning. I told you. 
Oh, the first Lucky. village of a Tales game where nothing, and I mean nothing, can go wrong. <laughs> Your hometown will always good. be fine. Hmm. Bit of a fever, hey sis, I had a dream where you had like an evil, gross, today. blood red monster hands. Then, you, bed, you sucked blood like what? Dio. Aww, You're so silly. <laughs> Sorry, you'll have to wait. You wanted to go to Kate's at least read a book? No books! Don't trouble your sister. She is the only sex. person that would tell children to not Did read. <laughs> Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah. Hey Arthur, I, do I remember winter. you like crucifying somebody when we were children? <laughs> no, no, that didn't Better happen. You'll have to read a bit. Thankfully, I'm also a very pretty old man. <laughs> I don't know if he's like old, old, but yeah, he's anime old. Yeah. Once you turn like 25, you turn into an old man in the anime universe. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey, what's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? I right. don't understand why he's not allowed to read a book. I ripped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Porridge. Thank you. <laughs> no TV, no roughhousing, no books, only, only porridge. porridge. <laughs> <laughs> the share button. What does it do? It shares. <laughs> L1 button resets the camera. Left stick moves the character. So share with us the adventures of this strange woman that refuses kids to I almost thought that said start shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Velvet is in the mood to start shit. So, let's see. Starting off, we can run around in this very, very beautiful environment. <laughs> These games are really pretty. Is it better? Spools. Nope, there's no books in here. You reading? <laughs> Better not be reading. I thought I told you not to be illiterate. <laughs> so, right now, it's just Velvet. This nice, happy girl. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong. We have a fashion menu. Already. Nothing in it. <laughs> I think it's, it's in items where all that stuff is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is, actually. Like, scroll over to... All the... Well, maybe it doesn't pop up until uh, you actually, like, yeah. get into the meat. Into the, the main... It should be like a game that just gives you, like, 20 different costume options as soon as you start the game. You unlock more, but it's, like, you know... I got a tarnished silver coin. This silver should fetch a decent price. Well, it's a step up from Yakuza, where it would be, like, snot-covered or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this silver will fetch you one silver. Wow. What is Wait. it? What are these? These radishes? Chestnuts? No, garlic. Oh. oh. Big garlic. Big, smooth garlic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very glossy. Yeah, this one looks like the skin is on it. We don't peel our garlic. That sounds like a thing somebody who reads would do. <laughs> yeah. I could have used the, I could have climbed down this ladder. <laughs> but she decided she had to jump. I was giving it her all for no reason. What do you want, kid? Rest up. All right? Don't and forget don't to take some gel. Read. <laughs> You're careless sometimes. I'll be fine. Fuck you, kid. You will see Moggy Lou with problem. her, like, waist covered in books and just go... Mm. <laughs> oh, by the way, how's the connection doing? Okay. It's old enough. Okay, cool. Doing fine. Feeling fine. And no going outside. Sheesh. You don't trust me at all. It'll get dark if you don't leave soon. <laughs> <laughs> This <laughs> <laughs> is a no thoughts, head empty, like speech bubble. <laughs> no, you don't. I like his assumption that <laughs> she's very suspicious of him. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, goodbye, kid. <laughs> you look like you're up to some illegal activity. Like reading. <laughs> I'm like six! Alright, mini map showing your current surroundings is displayed in the upper left of the screen. You can use it to check the locations of your next objective, shops, and more. Area map. Press square to display the area map. Unlike the mini map, which only displays your current surroundings, the area map shows the entire region you are currently in. <laughs> current objective and event list. Uh. Press R1 <laughs> to display the current main story objective in the upper right. Additionally, the event list on the area map displays objectives and progress in both the main story and side quests. If I'm on the hunt for prickle boars, I'd better you try to try to start a tutorial. This is for Lothi's prickle nest. boars. So it, you're on the hunt for what? <laughs> Prickle boars. <laughs> They're boars. Yeah. Then they have prickles. So nice little idyllic autumn setting. Ooh, sparkly. Chipped copper coin. <laughs> I just saw a picture of them. I'm really excited. What? I just saw a picture of the prickle boar. I'm excited <laughs> to see these critters in action. Beside a grave, beside a grave marker for Arthur and Cecilia's, Arthur and Celica's unborn child, stands the gravestones of Velvet's parents and her sister Celica. Woof. Okay. Damn. Thanks, text box. <laughs> Inscribed upon the tiny pillar are the following words: "Life is pain." This little life will spread its wings and soar through the skies. That. We're not even an hour in. We already got our first dead child plot line. <laughs> no, no, don't you worry, Melly. Uh. <laughs> ah, town. Now there's stuff. <laughs> the village of longing. Oh, a skit. Think of it. Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner. Actually, wait for Sasha to get back because. Sasha doesn't want to miss a skit. So skits are a unique thing to this series, hmm. where uh, usually comic relief or extra bits of lore or just stuff that wouldn't fit into regular old cutscenes hmm. are put into these little, um, just like visual novel segments almost that are very are very brief, but they're always fully voiced and have. Um, like, these full character portraits hmm. of the characters talking to each other or just musing about something. And it's it's one of the things about this series that I really like. Um, some games, it's like, oh, you get a skit just by walking around and achieving certain things. And sometimes it's like you only get skits if you go to certain points on the map to save points... And then you have to queue through every single skit that you've earned in the last two hours, Tales of Zestiria. <laughs> that one is less fun. It's less, um, organic, I guess. Like, they don't just pop up at some point, like, at points when you're playing. Hmm. So it's, uh, I'm not sure I bet that a lot of that was, like, scenes that they just almost left on the cutting room floor and they're like, wait... I have a way to put that back in. Oh, you mean just skits in general? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Probably way early on in the series, they were like, um, oh, we've got all these really these really good ideas, but they, we can't really fit them in anywhere. It's like, oh, let's just make an extra little scene for them. Yeah. It's like the, uh, it's like deleted scenes are a game mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, um, like, there, there's rewards you get for looking at certain skits and you know certain skits have their own little like um mini storylines and stuff like that hmm. and so i've all it's always fun to like there, there's like big lists of like get every skit and some of them you can't get all of them in one playthrough and stuff like that <laughs> it's just one of those you know they, they try to add replayability where they can even though these are very like linear story games hmm. very long. I, I like how we call them skits, too. Mm -hmm. It's like, it'll be like... 
<laughs> it's like a Tales of uh, scene, but like the kids in the hall are doing it. <laughs> it's sketch comedy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of sketches, actually. But... <laughs> These Key and Peel scenes. <laughs> Peel go in like, Come to think of it, Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Where did Sasha go? Probably getting more food. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, for anybody out there on Twitch land, uh... <laughs> I hope you're doing okay, and a lot better than my back's doing. <laughs> Unfortunately, nobody in this house is a masseuse. That's true. Well, I mean, someone I... told me chiroprac chiropractic was a sham, and I don't know if I believe them or not. Hmm. I mean, it could be, but I don't know. Uh, Do you want to know how to do an elbow drop at least? Maybe I'll fix something. <laughs> I can, I can, uh, <laughs> wing it. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi. We are, we, I paused because we were at the skit. Yeah. Oh. You didn't have to. Oh. Oh. It's been here in a while. There's been so much going on. The village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just... <laughs> Arthur's so busy. That does it. I'll cook him up some prickle bore stew, just like Selica taught stew. me. You know how to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Eat this pig. <laughs> Eat this spiky pig. You're not laying on my tea, are you? No. It's over here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We got some people. These, these randos. Villager. Oh, you can't talk to the cat. Sadly, no. <laughs> He holds too many secrets. The cat is a fellow. Huh. <laughs> so does the uh, indifferent face just mean like you've talked to them already? Yeah, that means yeah. you've exp you've ex uh, expended their dialogue. Okay, because at first I thought you were just bumming everybody out, <laughs> <laughs> which is fair. <laughs> Here in this village of longing. <laughs> Look at this guy slapping some leaves. He's slapping a <laughs> leaf pile texture. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it even add like little like f leaves flying around. He's just patting a geometry. <laughs> I gotta flatten this texture out. <laughs> what are you doing? Ever since the opening seven years ago. This world's really gone the opening? Crazy. The <laughs> opening was like Freezing 20 minutes ago. Wait, why am I like a farmer lady in this game? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that people Owner's can life. <laughs> things. It's a nightmare. Doesn't the owner is like some other lady happening. off screen. Yeah. <laughs> no. What we do know is that the people turn into those monsters. And those monsters. Demons. Demons. <laughs> Demons. <laughs> Humans on site. Hey, Arpa. Uh, oh, hey, Arpa. How are you going? <laughs> it's like what did what Arpa say? Directly to uh, it's a Mortal Kombat 6 joke. Oh. Uh -huh. died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died. Died she during did. the opening? <laughs> <laughs> she died during that really cool song. How can you say that? Sorry. I didn't mean it. Don't be a dick, slap man. You know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Just making Eric Andre noises. <laughs> yeah. I like how I'm in this game and I call the guy an idiot. <laughs> we, have a, we have a big fence to keep out the demons. <laughs> I hope it's just a, like a the normal. Fence made of leaves. <laughs> <laughs> the owner is Soccer's dad 2.0. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wife, could you please be a sword for me? <laughs> it's for the demons. <laughs> I gotta get back to slapping these leaves. <laughs> what is he actually doing? I like, don't know. It's like you can't you can't straighten the leaves by hand. <laughs> <laughs> is he searching for something? Is he gonna find Kenan there? <laughs> that would make sense. Hello, He's looking for Kenshiro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
What do you have to say, small child? Look, that kid's that kid's doing this. That, no, that kid's looking for Kenshiro. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> you interrupted <laughs> us. He needs a little more rest. I think. Oh, at Arpa, how are how's our voices and how's the game audio? Right, got it. Because we haven't really been able to tell yet. You are our first lucky customer. The medicine always helps a little bit, but still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's. I can hear both. Okay, cool. Cool. But we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. Arthur is our is the one guy in town who can do anything. I mean, look at him. <laughs> Even though he seems to only have one arm, he's the most useful person in this village. And he has the nicest ponytail. Anyway, that kid's going back to business. The demons. I, I, I'm gonna be saying that like all night, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with all these people just like slapping plants? <laughs> <laughs> He'll be able to play, but not read once his fever's over. <laughs> you can't have kids reading. What if they get too smart and they <laughs> form an uprising? I don't have a lot of money to spare, but like Arthur always says. Battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. I don't know, Velvet. I think you can just wing it sometimes. Oh. Hello, Barklight General Store. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Not after I eliminate the competition. <laughs> oh. I can buy apple <laughs> gel. <laughs> Huh. All I can buy is apple gel. Well, you should you should have known what you signed up for when you went to the apple gel cart. <laughs> what if you went to the store and it was just apple juice? <laughs> you bought nothing but apple juice. <laughs> what I'm saying is I feel less like a farmer, more like I should stab things with a sword. <laughs> oh. Goodbye. You ruthless businessman. <laughs> that man. What you don't know is that that uh, that cart's actually the bar. <laughs> All it can serve you is apple gel. <laughs> Hello. Are you holding a baby or a sandwich? <laughs> you both. <laughs> oh wait. Okay, yeah, that is a that is a youngin. <laughs> Who is fast asleep? <laughs> So I am a hunter, I guess. With a weird metal thingy on my hand. And he didn't even need to do a training arc that lasts like a billion years. <laughs> All you have to do is just say you're a hunter and you're a hunter. That's it. Do you want to try changing his diaper? It won't be long before you're doing it for real. I don't know what that... Are you saying that I'm going to be changing your baby's diaper soon? <laughs> I feel like that's assuming a lot. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, it is assuming a lot, in fact. Yeah. Velvet is 16. You are a woman. Meaning, you will have baby. <laughs> Please shut up. <laughs> I better go on. I'm I don't leaving. know how to tell this woman I like girls. <laughs> <laughs> doot doot. I'm leaving. What do we have here? We've got some green, like, cubes. Shout out to all the pears. On that <laughs> but they're like cubes. I eat cubes now and shit like that. And Jules Verne and shit. <laughs> That's my favorite line with that thing. Why do all, like, the shopkeepers look really pissed off? <laughs> the one, like, right in front of me right now, that looks like a big pineapple pizza. <laughs> Like, with really big chunks of pineapple. Like, one of those, like, um... I don't know if they're called pizza pies or not, but, you know, like, the square pizzas. Uh-huh. The deep dish pizzas? 
<laughs> a little bit, yeah. Hello, I'm just looking at this tree. What are you up to? The demon blight is a punishment. Does he know Sent to us by the Imperians <laughs> for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Imperians? <laughs> the four Imperians created the world. We're a higher up the one Imperian yeah, shall thanks. bring it to peace. <laughs> Be afraid. When Be Shanta afraid. Permeates this world. Oh, we, we ran into the uh, horror I'm movie so exposition. <laughs> are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I have a tree to look at! <laughs> if you're going to the cake, take care. Oh, it's you're only you, right? I also like how she's Be the afraid? She looks like the village elder, but she just looks like a normal villager that just has a back problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, you will die! <laughs> or, sorry. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ma'am, you are terrifying. <laughs> Goodbye. I still gotta show you Palpatine's journey back to this by the way. Okay. Yoda, you old spuds. <laughs> <laughs> so I think. Okay. World map. <laughs> we are in a world map. Mysterious, mysterious, cabal, cabal, the cabal, <laughs> cabal. <laughs> cabal in here would be really funny. Yeah. Just like, just like you're what through about, this. What about the demons, man? Oh, hey, Eve. hey, Eva. Glad to see you. Are you doing well? What's she, what's she saying? I'm I'm away from the chat box right now, so it's. It's because Bizaria kind of sounds like Berserk. That's true. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. that uh, hope you feel even better. See, I was thinking of Cabal. Oh, okay. I, I, yeah. I was thinking of Loki. <laughs> I mean, both would be really funny. Hey, Velvet. You going swimming? <laughs> <laughs> no swimming. Only grinning. <laughs> This area looks promising. Is he sparkly? What's over here? Comfrey. <laughs> I have a bunch of grass off the ground. It's very comfrey. I'm under the blanket. I'm very comfrey. <laughs> More comfrey. <laughs> the invisible wall forest. <laughs> the invisible wall forest doth make fools of us all. Prickle boar. I read the prickle boars. Combo, Prick combo attacks can be performed based on the number of souls each character currently possesses. Prickle boar just sounds like a very obscure insult. <laughs> so that means it's a prickle boar. Prickle boar sounds like a 90s alternative band that would get maybe like one single and like some radio play and then vanish into the ether. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would it be just Prickle Boar or the Prickle Boars? No, just Prickle Boar. <laughs> well, like two Ks. <laughs> right, here goes. I'm sad you have to beat these guys up. Prickle Boars have been called Sonic before they came up in the day. <laughs> Harsh rebuttal. Is that all? Is that all? Prickle bore meat times two. They could have used less cute animals for meat. <laughs> and maybe that's true for real life, to be fair, but. <laughs> yeah. Hog startle makes me uh, not want to eat pork anymore. <laughs> <laughs> one, one interesting thing about it, about Tails games, uh, that won't probably, will, will definitely not come up. Because we're never, we're not going to do New Game Plus. But grade, you'll see me getting various amounts of grade over the course of this playthrough. And that is something that is exclusive for New Game Plus. Hmm. Um, you get special little bonuses at the grade store when you start a New Game Plus. <laughs> based on how good you did the first run. Which is kind of neat. 
Punch it, Perkle Bore Me. Delicious and nutritious. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a great store when I was still in college. <laughs> Farmer Harvest Me with an Assassin's Creed Rift Blade. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is what farmers do. <laughs> Contacting with an enemy while on the field will initiate a battle. That ha That's true in real life, too. <laughs> Victory is achieved by attacking your opponents and reducing each of their HP to zero. Also true. If you feel you are in an unwinnable battle, you can run toward the line at the edge of the battlefield to cause the escape gauge to rise. Once the battle fills, you will flee the encounter. However, you cannot flee from battlefields that have a red border. Yeah, that's <laughs> Lord knows how many prickle boars I made contact with. <laughs> oh, the prickle boar's future. The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our prickle boar meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. <laughs> what would we call them? Oinkle boars? <laughs> nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about piggle boar? Yeah, Pickle Boar. That's a cute name. You want a cute Sweet. name for? Yeah, I was about to say. I wouldn't want to discourage people. He's asking you, them. the viewer. <laughs> Pickle Boar. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Tiny cave. Treasure chest. And more and a Pickle Boar. <coughs> Battle tutorial. Pickle Boar. That is a cute name though. Archie's up the soul gauge. S G. When S G drops to zero, you can skill attack. But you will you can still attack, but you will be knocked back if you try to defend. Unleash your combo with your S until your SG runs out. <laughs> the harsh rebuttal. I don't know what I Okay. Use L1 to defend. I might never do that. Defending decreases enemy da de decreases damage from enemies, but also greatly depletes soul gauge. It also resets the camera's position unless you are against a wall. Come on. One damage. They look like uh. It was nice the pickle boards to stand still for you to learn right, that. <laughs> Know your foes and strike where they're weak. This game is awfully bleak so far. <laughs> I'm watching your character just murder animals for. <laughs> You're talking about beating up pigs. Using arts when you have no SG comes with a number of detrimental effects. Combo speed is slower, and combos are more easily broken. <laughs> attacks are more easily guarded against, and attacks that are guarded will be deflected, leaving the attacker vulnerable. Status effects are, are less likely to be inflicted, and healing arts restore fewer HP. Stunned enemies, however, cannot guard, leaving you free to attack them regardless of your SG. <laughs> so, the soul gauge thing is something unique to Berseria. Uh, it's not a system that's in any other Tales game. I think it's okay. Got another Applejack. Hmm. It's there are worse systems in these games. <laughs> <coughs> Tales of Graces has some pretty bad ones. Tales of Zestria has some pretty bad ones. Hmm. But eh, I could take it or leave it. Three kinds of treasure chests can be found in various places in the world. Each contains different kinds of items: copper chests, consumables, silver chests, standard equipment, gold chests, exceptional equipment. It's so good. <laughs> What's that thing? A save point. Oh. Big rock. Huh? Punch it. I can't. I can only stretch. It's ridiculous. I love I don't think she knows what a rock is. Look at it. Yeah. She listens to the song I Am A Rock, she's like, what? <laughs> she doesn't listen to music, that's like reading with your brain. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Only Chris Redfield was here. <laughs> Jeez. Like Chris Redfield. <laughs> he, he, he punches the rock that one time. Yeah. In Resident Evil 5 or 6? 
Didn't you have to, like, uh, mash X or something? Maybe just keep punching it? I think so. Velvet Redfield? <laughs> yeah. That's a... See, that's a ruby name. Velvet Redfield is a ruby name. I thought it was just, like, the name he have as, like, a prog musician in the 80s. <laughs> that's also true. <laughs> Look at Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. <laughs> and, like, a stage musician named Velvet Redfield. <laughs> what if Chris Redfield would be nice to a pickle boar? And I, I like how we're, we stopped calling them prickle boars. They're pickle boars. Yeah. You can save your progress in the game by pressing X while touching a save point. Additionally, while you're exploring in the field, you can create a quick save by pressing options to access the pause menu. <laughs> Velvet Redfield over for yes that one time. <laughs> <laughs> Velvet Redfield one of the like direct video killed the radio star. <laughs> he was like the one extra in the first scene. <laughs> well this is um Isn't this where my sister got crucified? What? Right in the opening? Remember? I think I looked away when that happened. <laughs> Probably for the best. Yeah. Hey. It's so weird to see a person do martial arts that. moves on a pig. <laughs> Tiny little pig. <laughs> That's how you hunt. These adorable little, like, striped gum colored pigs. <laughs> should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. Turn him into apple gel for me. <laughs> From what Becca told me, and I believe her, um, the only reason she's winning against these pigs is because she hasn't crouched once. Because apparently crouching against a pig that is mad at you is a very fast way to die. In apparently, this, In this game? No, just in real life. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love pigs, but uh, I'm slightly scared of them. <laughs> I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Even Celica used to say pigs can stun lock you. Yeah. <laughs> in the world. Well, Especially the piglets, they got some corner pressure going on. I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. I'm gonna jump in this big hole. <laughs> Just like Arthur would have done. <laughs> oh, I can... If I, if I hold circle, I can just walk. I love games that have a just walk button. <laughs> it feels so pointless. And yet... There may be points where you have to just walk, maybe? <laughs> Forbidden land is a pickle boar sanctuary. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. There's a one thing, one neat thing about Tails games that you can do. Oh, wait. So, do you see where it says 1P semi auto down at the bottom? Uh. Oh, yes, yeah. So, one neat thing that you can do in this game is you can set every single playable character. To be AI controlled. Huh. Like, I, I'm, i you know, I'm going to be playing this game, actually playing it, but <coughs> it's a viable option to just watch all the fights happen. Now, sometimes that doesn't go great. Sometimes the AI doesn't know what to do in a certain fight. But it's still fun to watch. It's still fun to watch the AI, like, try to win. Yeah. Which is probably why Eva said this is now Fire Pro. Yeah. <laughs> how, do the, uh, how do I do the AI programming for Velvet? <laughs> right, here goes. There's a menu for that. That's pretty cool. Scales of Melt Bash. <laughs> That'll be like the next year motif. Is that all, pigs? I hope you run into, like, a boss prickle boar. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> your next breath will be your last. Young traveler. Enemy book. 
My team will be three pickle boards. Yeah. <laughs> look at him. Yeah, look at this boy. Yeah. This pr- prickle boy. Pickle boy. Pickle boy? I have defeated eight of them. Now, small for... Still boards. <laughs> small for me is the game with the pickle boy in it. Arts, mini tackle, uppercut. <laughs> we... Come hither and focus up. <laughs> we already found this game's peanut. <laughs> Yeah, when I ran into Pickle Boy in that game, I was like, oh, it's interesting to see Emmy's least favorite character of all time. That's true. Because he is a weird man that wants to smell like pickles. Oh, that sounds terrible. Yeah. He seems like a nice dude, but I'm like... I don't trust anyone who wants to smell like pickles. <laughs> and when you come up to him and talk to him, he makes a sound that's like, whoa! <laughs> I leveled up. <laughs> who just leveled up? Right, here goes! Well, I agree with that. Um, I don't know if I enjoy pickles enough to be like, hey, please pour this jar over my head, which is what that guy asked you to do. Ew. And it's funny because you can either... I, I, I'm sorry that I'm probably going to be talking about this game a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that makes one of us. <laughs> uh, you can either have another yeah, guy... Scene. Oh, hold Pickle boards. Oh, no, they're bad. I just said pickle bores. So thank you for that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Maxim three. Never waver once your sword is drawn. Control the your pigs. Why do you keep quoting issues of Maxim? <laughs> it's the one thing we're allowed to read. <laughs> Hidden arts. Arthur's issue of Maxim number three. <laughs> Hot babes inside. <laughs> Hidden arts focus on damage and and attack range, but use more more of your SG than martial arts. Searing edge is effective against beasts. Gain the advantage by exploiting your enemy's weak spots. <laughs> uh, select arts from the battle menu. Assign searing edge to X. Maxim said, "Stop bullying the pickle wars." <laughs> I saw like how she's like, were they like your kids? I, I guess it was supposed to be that sentence. <laughs> and then they're just like, yeah, you killed our children. She's like, I have a mission to do. To kill their parents too. So you can join them. I killed them all. Just like, just like um, Arthur Thomas. We have zombie Bigglebore. <laughs> so what's he just say? No, that was Arthur that said something. Oh. Pride and anxiety, pity for the enemy, thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Oh. Hi, Arthur. <laughs> Hi, you annoyingly okay. handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Yeah, I was thinking that too, honestly. What? Oh no, he's hot. <laughs> Arthur's fourth I want hair like that. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Is, this, is, this, is that the guy from The Witcher? <laughs> it could be the same voice actor. All these pickle boards. I'll drop the pickle boards off at the shop before I head out. <laughs> I'll take the credit. <laughs> the person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be. Let's see if this guy's voice buying Japanese out of curiosity. <laughs> You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Arthur, I can't talk like this. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the demons. village. <laughs> if you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? But I thought the third Yay! maxim was not to run away. Demons can I'm only be challenged by those you with the issue of exorcism. <laughs> That's the cold I learned the Joestar strategy of war. <laughs> Do you think I could become an exorcist? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, <sighs> Do you think that birds fly? That wasn't an answer. <laughs> Be- because they're, they're birds. Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. 
They could go to the store. It takes a bit to <laughs> buy some apple to jam. Be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans you are themselves. suck. <laughs> but that's okay, because a lot of people suck. Not me, including though. you. Tomorrow Not me, though. <laughs> I'm radical. <laughs> Look at this coat. Look at this ponytail. He is. Look at this. Look at the jacket. I'll make you a quiche. Look at the story. The way she me. Fashion. <laughs> she just makes it's it called style velvet. <laughs> Read more maxims. You'll learn about it. <laughs> Every time I hear somebody mention a quiche, I just remember what C Chris Fleming said about them. Quiche is just pizza that went to private school. <laughs> <laughs> After the hunt. I wonder if those prickle boars were brothers. Maybe I should have let them go. But then how would I pay for Luffy's medicine? Hunting took care of that. And Maybe go bother another family of prickle boars? I have no <laughs> other choice. It was a rational decision. That one, like, the that strip so of hair looks it. like a scar. Yeah. Quiche is just pizza meant to kill picky eaters. <laughs> <laughs> I never actually had it. What's in quiche? Cheese. I think. Oh, uh, let's see. That kills, well, cheese kills me. French tart consisting of a pastry crust filled with savory custard and pieces of cheese, meat, seafood, or vegetables. Ah, interesting. I got another chipped copper coin. Well, that's what that dude was looking for in the leaves earlier. <laughs> what, quiche? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, terrifying old woman. Uh, the texture's upsetting. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to try it myself. Oh, hey, uh -huh. a girl. Dog, doggo. Miko, here for groceries? <laughs> Miko. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It was no, I was talking to the dog. Look at you, lady breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. But I don't girl. need to be. <laughs> that's, the, that's the heteronormativity you know, talking, man. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like a lot uh, of denial. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. You could choose a comb or this sure, really I complicated do, compass. But... Sometimes I'm a boy. <laughs> huh? oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nick. I'll sell you some apple gel. <laughs> of course, Arva said incoming soccer wars oh, play. <laughs> yes. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is well, it it's the demons. The demons? Oh. Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. Demon blight. Group of them lurking around here now. <laughs> They all look like pigs. When is it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, but I no. killed all these pigs! Uh, what is wrong with Midgand? Midgand. Don't they have an army or something? <laughs> Those guys? The demons already ran a while back. Dog, <laughs> dog butt. But <laughs> we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an There should be a game with cutscenes where every so single shot, a dog eventually will photobomb a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Man, these these townsfolk are jerks. Uh, yeah, what the hell? Of course. For now, here on the house. Your father here, have some apple gel. <laughs> that one one guy back there was like was like it'd be better if you were dead. Sorry, I didn't mean it that like that. Your special key. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious. Please, this is life or death for me. But I thought your I gotta get that good dick, day. Velvet. <laughs> Who cares what people think? I like how this lady's voice doesn't really fit her face very well. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be. You know what I have to be? Darn right. Maybe you are sometimes though. That's. A <laughs> and you keep saying it too. That's making me very suspicious. Ooh. I better hurry Treasure chest. Thanks. Uh, hey, do you steal my ring? No. <laughs> hey, are we both in love with each other? <laughs> I think that's a question you, that should probably be asked at this point. Everyone shut up. This dog has something important to say. Oh, yeah? Never mind. This so dog does not have anything important to say. Oh. Right, yeah, but mine aren't the dog's an introvert. <laughs> Don't be modest. They're fantastic. Thank you, dog. Simple. 
That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> we can there's even a secret in my keys. I actually use seasoning. Would it make more <laughs> money than hunting Fricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more so <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> the customers. The dog is an imposter. will make a pig of more noise than it's act. Mimic dog. Kind of like the thing, but less gross. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big. Dream, Velvet. I like Nico. For a second, I thought you said Velveteen Dream and got scared. Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah, Nico is fun. Yeah. You're impossible. A <laughs> dog is, is this anything? Uh, I haven't played Among Us, so I can't actually say. Oh. and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. Oh no, sad doggies. Like this for an hour they have pets. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, <laughs> that kitty Rolo chased both of them up the by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into Stop my being head. being mean to the dogs! Dorothy, <laughs> Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. No. They're completely hopeless. Maybe. You two are so mean! But they're so cute. So I forgive them. Fair. So, you keep emphasizing tales of man. Tales of heteronormativity. For yeah. now. For now, yes. They are forcing if you were a dude very hard. <laughs> but we're both girls. <laughs> Grr. Stop talking about being straight. The only way this could end is if one of them transitions or... Uh... Wait, I forgot the other part. Well, I <laughs> <laughs> Maybe want to punch him. My own dad. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, I do that all the time. I, I want to punch my dad. I don't punch my dad. <laughs> my dad's just annoying. Hmm. Really obsessed with quiche. Yeah, make quiche and vent sometime. It reminds me of this one. Uh, <laughs> I saw Nico venting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was. Um, we. <laughs> there was like an old anime called like Aim for the Ace or something. It was like you know a drama tennis thing. Uh -huh. And for some reason, the lady's friend would just keep repeatedly saying in every other sentence, Hey, let's get some hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's how I think all the time. Wait. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying she's wrong to be doing that. That jerk is gone. <laughs> no, wait, no, there he is. You having fun? No case is worth this. <laughs> Slap, slapping your slapping your leaves. Insulting my family. Fuck off. I'm here to just call this guy a dipshit. <laughs> oh, <wait. sighs> what time is it? Eleven fifteen. Alright. Wow, we've been well, we did start quite late. But it is also a JRPG. <laughs> Playing tennis. <laughs> That's really good. Zorka, I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. Princesses are princesses. <laughs> loved those flowers. Just so you know. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some of I've been through me. a lot for a 16-year-old girl in a RPG village. <laughs> sorry, I was so busy with boar murder. <laughs> Poppy set, you better not have been reading in here. <laughs> what are you doing? <gasps> uh, welcome home, Velvet. Fluffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. You know, it wouldn't Look, be a problem if you let him read in bed. bed. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm you can sorry. bring a book to bed. What's this? A cup? 
face. You have been reading. It uses a <laughs> to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo! You can use the sun and stars for that. And what will you do? I like this party, like huh? fucking Melvin's just like fuck, fuck learning. <laughs> He doesn't know anything. Velvet so is Amish. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Amish. She doesn't get Come things. On, she doesn't understand shit. Can't you see how useful it is? And uh, God, I there was like one video where somebody said that, and I'm trying to remember exactly what the words were. I don't get things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand stuff. <laughs> Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Why are we doing a fighting stance? <laughs> I think it's time you all all right, now that your fever has gone down, we must battle. I was kind of looking at the wrestling news again tonight. Uh huh. Miz is Sarah the first two-time Grand Slam champion. Huh. He has gone through the full cycle huh. twice. Really Johnny Cage won big time. Yeah. Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. <laughs> he didn't let me. Didn't tell me that. No one would be an exorcist. I can tell you What's so special about you, huh? You and your fancy books. You and your literacy. I really want to become an exorcist. Disease. I want to go traveling <laughs> and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood and a demon. You know, it's funny. This kid doesn't really seem that sick. <laughs> He's got anime sickness. Yeah, yeah, like Toki. Yeah, you never see like an anime sick person being like. You'll get there, Lucky. So anyway, it was uh, up. <coughs> you see it sometimes. Yeah. You told me I have Exorcist Two the heretic potential. Oh no. What? Oh yeah. <laughs> Exorcist Two. <laughs> the really fucking weird one where I think James Earl Jones is filled with bees or something. I can't remember what that was. Candyman. And take your medicine. Uh, that was Candyman. Uh, he. I did something in that movie. I can't remember what it was, but it was very fucking weird. We could not show me tucking him in because that would be too much for video games. <laughs> this game isn't advanced enough for blanket tech. <laughs> that movie's actually really good. I, I didn't check it out. I haven't actually fully checked out the first movie either. What, Candyman? I could no, no, uh, Exorcist. <laughs> Candyman is a movie where I'm like, I don't really like the movie all that much, but Candyman himself is great. I hate Candyman just because I remember when I was first I was first told about it, I made assumptions based on the title, and then somebody started talking about bees. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you don't want to look at that scene. <laughs> I got a potato. <laughs> from the garlic bowl. Oh, yeah, please do. I gotta watch more horror movies. Ow. Well, <laughs> sugar. I know you like sugar, <laughs> but I ain't got none. I like how Scott Steiner is convinced burgers are full of sugar. Yeah. You and your honey maple burger. Actually, I kind of want to try that. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur, so I know those prickle boars don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. What is God? This? Everyone, she's shut up. <laughs> Little scamp. He just knew Episode he one: didn't. Tales of Heteronormativity. <laughs> you know I love. You know I love sugar. <laughs> Melly, let's watch violent shit. No, I watched one of them. That was enough. Observations on Nameless Empyrean. <laughs> Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Loffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. I do think he needs glasses. <laughs> Ignite. <laughs> That's a good prompt. <laughs> See, I don't even unintelligible mash night. <laughs> Axe the butcher shit. I forgot that that was a character in that series. <laughs> the full name of one of the villains is Carl the Butcher Shitter. <laughs> Which is just a really good name. The Butcher Shitter? Yeah. Could you not put any spinach in the stew? You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. You will just be a kid for like 60 years. Shut up, Lobby. You said spinach is good. Fine, fine. I'll say, yeah, I agree. Spinach, spinach is very good. Good for your once. tummy. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. 
Really? Thanks. Why don't you just make the curry flavor he likes, it's but like put spinach in it? Just sneak spinach in it. Yeah. It's like how they make like you know they started making the chicken nuggets. It's like it has some carrot like blended into the breading or whatever. Oh yeah. I actually tried one of those. They're very good. Oh, where am I? Oh, there we go. There you go. Oop. Not spicy hot, <laughs> but oh, so delicious. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. Like she finds She's me hot. In the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. What you say? I will. <laughs> I'm glad you've got a good friend. I can't hear yeah, you from down I've here. They're <laughs> using a walkie-talkie. Still. Nico falling in love with somebody that isn't me. Really yeah. around it. Loppy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? No. <laughs> so I can girl? steal her. Hmm. You're a Wait, stubborn no, that that's right? never mind. Ignore that I said that that's <laughs> bad. Yeah, yeah. I was not thinking oh, about implications there. I'm just very competitive, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just Not want a girlfriend, Loppy friend. said. You don't you understand. <laughs> also, I like how he said, What, a girl? <laughs> you know this is a gay family, Velvet. Besides, <laughs> getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what so... I'm dying. What's wrong? Your, your, your straightness is making me sick. <laughs> Laffy Taffy. Give you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all. And it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah. This well, tiny what training can I do? <laughs> I've got a duty to This kid deserves much better. better. And I'm serious about that, it. I'm not saying she's yeah. bad, I'm just saying I'm it sucks that he is sick. It too. sucks that he's got anime I disease. Yeah. That's all. And it's not <laughs> Lobby is faking Arthur being sick. They just want to interrupt her. <laughs> family, right? Yeah. I gotta try that. That's what families do. What Thanks, interrupting Lobby. someone by coughing? For you? I yeah. Every <laughs> in the forest if it came down to it. So I've been at a deli. It's like not too thin, but not too thin. <laughs> Hurry <laughs> and get dinner ready. Hey. God, he's just staring at you. <laughs> It's a very domestic uh, start to this game. Yeah. I feel like I'm actually in it. Cooking is so fun. Cooking is so fun. Now it's time beef to take a break off. and see what you've done. It's beef stroganoff from anime. <laughs> <laughs> Big sis, I have the disease that makes me not want to put up with your shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I am, in fact, allergic to bullshit. <laughs> You didn't forget your mom. Zorba says the cure to the illness is actually known by the Pickle Board, and you well, had to be nice to them this promise. whole time to learn it from them. <sighs> Tomorrow's a scarlet night. The Toho yeah. night? Just like that. <laughs> Tomorrow's a Toho game. Lives. Everything's a Toho game. That's true. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? No, you have you have like you have a huge bed, kid. <laughs> you have and also, you're sick. <laughs> yeah. You have germs. <laughs> Velvet doesn't understand germ theory. She doesn't read. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, though, the thing is, he's got, like, anime disease, which isn't, like... You can't contract it. She doesn't know that. You can't spread it, but, like... You just have it. <laughs> uh, she doesn't know that. Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... <laughs> I heard a phone vibrate oh. there. <laughs> Is that me? Yes. You little... Where's Where Laffy Taffy? <laughs> Laffy Taffy. to the village alone. Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Are I, you upstairs? I, I, I went... Uh, my fever went down one degree. I'm fine. <laughs> Are you in the garlic? No. <laughs> Use a bunch of garlic. Yeah, it's 
open up his sinuses. <laughs> I'm used to there being a run button, not an anti-run button. <laughs> Where's Lafayette? Search for Laffy. Oh, your is your terrible husband gone? <laughs> oh, it's ba it's the one with the baby. <laughs> He's gonna make so many people sick. <laughs> Nico. Oh, cutscene. Hey, has Luffy set been here? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. Wait, that's one of Arthur's. No, it's not. Actually, it's a <laughs> I trust this guy fully. <laughs> he's not like reading, he's been writing? A smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. So Lafayette, like, was here, but he was, like, here a while back, so I, I don't count that as he was here anymore. <laughs> oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. I told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. <laughs> so young and already he's very he's good at business. <laughs> so, what did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have a gun? <laughs> he bought a proton cannon! Nico! Velvet. Nico! I crowd applauds. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. He was talking to that Thanks. crazy old, like, <laughs> Catholic just lady over there. I'll check the forest. You ever have a fever and just, like, go to the forest? Yeah. <laughs> I remember, like, having, I like, you know... He might have gone to the cave to pick flowers. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. You just haven't pet them. Her. Squeeze. Squeeze. I think. I think. <laughs> I think Russ might actually just be a guinea pig. <laughs> So nice not having the stream break whenever we do this. Yeah. The capture card is incredible. Thanks, Alma. Yeah. Seen my brother? Alma is actually one of the. Uh, Slapping. <laughs> Alma is actually uh, probably the most important contributor to, uh, or collaborator with Date Dot Zone because she's the reason we have this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm busy slapping this wood. Leave me alone. <laughs> have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Cheerful no, old man. Thanks, thanks, cheerful old man. I have a name. No, you don't. <laughs> he's he's full of cheer. Look at him. He's jumping for joy and everything. He's doing like he's doing like those tiny little punches in the wall. He's like, it's like micro fracture your bones so they grow back stronger. <laughs> when I saw him the other day. He told me all about the latest navigation techniques and exotic farming methods. Exotic methods farming methods. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're They're really building up Lafayette. Well, yeah. He's an important character. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? But they, they don't Isn't accept sick kids. <laughs> they don't accept no kids that no can way. read. <laughs> gets better, I could never let him go that far he's the party he's mage. Said. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry. And be lonely. I'd be sad without my brother. <laughs> my brother. That sounds radical. Yeah. And terrifying. Doesn't that happen in Undernight? 
Yeah. <laughs> Scarlet Devil. Tonight's gonna be the embodiment of the Scarlet Devil. <laughs> Cow. Oh. Look at I'm... this fluffy boy. I'm in this game twice, apparently. <laughs> so soft and covered in hair. <laughs> It's like a cow version of, like, yeah, there's, uh, there's dogs that kind of look like that. Yeah. Can you pet the cow? That should be the next account. <laughs> hey, Velvet, did you, you can pet the, the cow and date dogs. Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Knight. <laughs> I remember Ain't that the right? moon turned red seven years ago. I remember the moon turned red, and I think my so sister got crucified. It happens every several years or so. Pet the cow and do it now. Well, you heard her. Next one by watching <laughs> According to legend. A crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. That's metal. You sure know a lot about it. Lafayette taught me just a few minutes ago. Lafayette taught me about the the weight of humanity's sins, Velvet. I think Lafayette might actually secretly be running this entire village. <laughs> Where's my creepy brother? <laughs> Everybody's just like, oh man, that kid, he's so cool. Which, to be fair, so far he is pretty cool. <laughs> Doesn't like spinach, though. Yeah, well, you know, it's... <laughs> Prickle boar. Pickle boar. Have you seen my brother? <laughs> yeah, he's up that way. Why are you kicking me? <laughs> I have a GPS on everything, goddammit. <laughs> You're doing genocide cutter on me. <laughs> Sorry to tell you this, but Laffy Set programmed this entire game. Comfrey. Comfrey. I love that it's Comfrey. Uh, I feel Comfrey right about now. Yeah, first person cutscene. Oh. Laffy Set. Laffy Taffy. Velvet. Can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. I was just taking a break. I was taking a break from being sick. <laughs> Laffy Set killed Rita. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? I'd email you. you. Be the only one hurt. Do you understand? <laughs> I invented email like last week. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just. I really wanted to see the creepy shrine. <laughs> It was just. It. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Oh, was that it? Yeah. So I was going out to the Cape, and I thought. You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> just for today, though. Are so the sure? ocean is like. Uh, uh, yeah, I am. sure. <laughs> But next time you run off like that, and it's a creepy shrine, you but you know, ocean's fine too. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Good. It's off to the Cape then. Hooray! Hooray! Remember how we went out together to pick princessias on the morning of Celica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the wow. village. Wow, smart or kid. I could. I don't know what right. the fuck was going on when I was four. <laughs> And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? I remember it's the first nightmare I ever had. Or well, the first nightmare I can remember. Hmm. I was sit standing in a dark room with the Metro Goldwyn Mare Lion. It roared. Like you and uh, then I woke up and I was scared. I'm going to assume my mom was watching a movie. Down the cliff from like, because I was in the same bed as her. Mm. I'm pretty sure I should, she was, must have been watching a movie and I just had a fucking dream where the lion was there and I was really scared of it. <laughs> I think I remember my first nightmare. And this is the least surprising thing that I could ever say. Uh, I had a nightmare when I was a kid that uh, Mondo from Battle Arena Toshinden was in my room and that he threw a ninja star into my leg. <laughs> Which is funny because he never even uses those. <laughs> How old do you think you were? Probably like nine. <laughs> oh, crap. There was another stick there. This is weird because I was never scared of anybody in that series. It's just for some reason he was being a dick to me. 
I need to draw that in paint. <laughs> Apple. How about I make you some apple boo when we get home, Lockie? <laughs> apple apple boo? boo? What's that? Grated apples. Oh. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little. <laughs> Why are you just well, call it grated apples? <laughs> it's sweet and tart and juicy apple and crisp. Boo. Apple boo. Eating it always made me feel better. I really want apples now. Apples are good for you. you. Want some apple boo? But what does the boo mean? When I was a baby, I would always say boo boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. You are such a nerd. <laughs> boo boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to do the same thing. When Selica and I heard you, we laughed so hard. Boo -boo. Shut up. Shut up, Velvet. That that made the prickle boars mad. <laughs> Uh, you said this old gremlin toy that told stories that was the previous thing in the world. My is that all? What? Huh. What? Uh, you know, saw about her first nightmare. Bob, a little gremlin told a toy that told her stories that was the previous thing in the world, and her first nightmare was explicitly about it doing creepy positive shit. Not bad. So, Great. like, uh. It's like a Furby, basically? Yeah. <laughs> about, I, like. I, I hate it. <laughs> I'm not like laughing at you or anything. I'm just for some reason a Furby was like my first comparison. It was like a weird Furby. Anyway, I actually had a Furby. I, I had uh, two of them when I was a kid. Uh, what I remember is that they were fun to mess with until you were trying to go to sleep. Yeah. And for some reason when you shut them off sometimes they would just come back on. <laughs> I'm like, and I remember like as a kid I was like, why would you program this? I want to go to bed. <laughs> Furbies are, in fact, the stuff of nightmares. Yeah. They, I, I had, like, a limited edition one that was, like, uh, Gizmo from the Gremlins, but, like, as a Furby. That sounds extra scary. Yeah. I should watch Gremlins 2 one day. Only it, Gremlins 2. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gremlins 1 is good, but Gremlins 2 is amazing. <laughs> it is a sequel where nobody involved was even taking it w a bit seriously. Perfect. <laughs> Remember the name of it, need to show you. If you have the mental image of a Furby, please dash that because it certainly worked. Yeah, hit me. <laughs> and your <laughs> Gremlins 2 is the Citizen Kane of movies. <laughs> This is getting too high concept for Velvet, Loppy said. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. What does it mean to go across something? Like Loppy said, the Earth is flat. Come on. Taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. She pulls out the ball and then puts on the ground. It's like the Earth is round. Why is it going anywhere? <laughs> That's a squeezy reference for you, Arpa. <laughs> it is that birds fly. If they didn't, they couldn't catch food or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings <laughs> has to. Uh, what? Huh? The hell was that? A demon! I gotta swear she was standing before that. Luffy said, run! No Do you guys know birds, where run. I can go to get no. some apple gel? <laughs> You it's called it. Apple Boo, you bastard. You're going to be strong, like <laughs> Yeah, you guys know where I can take a piss. <laughs> Why is a demon here? <laughs> oh, I'm doing a lot of damage. Don't let your feelings get in the way, or that thing will kill you too. But please, go! <laughs> I'll be over here. Ow. I love this unwinnable fight. Oh, is this actually unwinnable? It's yeah, well, I was doing zero damage. Oh. Like Arthur said. I have to do this! Ow. <laughs> well, I did it. <laughs> Stop! Face me, demon! Lobby set. <laughs> it do magic shit at him. It'll be cool. Ow! Oh, or, okay, that could happen. I tried! Velvet.
This kid dies, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> Hey there! Uh, oh, just in time for. Uh, Who's here? Allie Hope. Oh, hi, Allie. Yep. But once again, Arthur is fixing everything for everybody. Yeah. <sighs> what a weird dream. Yeah. Very foggy in this house right now. Get home. Velvet. It's because I'm amazing. Her lock is set. Right. Uh, sorry. It's all my fault. No. If you weren't there, there's no telling what might have happened to me. Probably the same exact thing. Plop. Comb your hair. You look like a mess. You're the <laughs> one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. I'm going to invent something called a shower. <laughs> I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. That's a threatening sentence. <laughs> I'll make the whole world smile. Hey, Lobby says, did you leave popcorn? That was a, that was a weird dream. <laughs> <laughs> did you leave popcorn in the stove or something? <laughs> Laffy said is one of the burners. This is my house, dude. What's going on? <laughs> Why does the house look like it's was on that, fire? It I'm pretty sure that's an OSHA violation. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a dream. God damn it. Got Laffy said's comb. No, I thought it was my comb. Anything in the garlic bowl? No. <laughs> it always comes back to the garlic. I had time to find my brother again. This is also a dream. Uh-oh. This one is wearing less clothes. No, that one. Those are very- these are very well-dressed demons. The one is an exhibitionist. <laughs> Sorry, this is the pervert. <laughs> He's conveniently forgetting his clothes at home. Even though we warned him multiple times. Why can't you guys just let me live? What on earth is going on? <laughs> this is no time to be scared. I have to find Luffy. I think this is implying this is a village of werewolves all along. Oh, possibly. Yeah. No! Blade Wolf. <laughs> That's pretty much how it works in Hellblade. They're being kind and letting oh. me escape. The village. Yeah. Nope, that's not. All right. Well, uh, yeah. first episode in the stream, the whole village got massacred. I hope Nico's okay. Yeah. You're the only one in this whole goddamn village I care about, Nico. That and the fluffy cow. That's true. <laughs> Y'all about to chat, I think Fluffy Cow was like the uh, sleeper hit of this <laughs> stream. More than Pickle Boar? Uh, you know, I, that's, that's, uh, it's a hard question. That Laffy set turns into a werewolf. <laughs> That'd be awesome. It would. But it's like, oh shit. I still have a fever, though. So <laughs> I'm still be, sick. He's, he's like a werewolf, but he's under the weather. <laughs> Arthur turns into a werewolf, but he just gains wolf ears, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's still hot! <laughs> you can't what? tarnish perfection. What is happening? You. You. Oh, thank goodness. You kept Lobby safe, didn't you, Arthur? Sure. Uh, more sentiment to cast off. Uh oh. Velvet, run! Arthur! What? Ow. Uh. 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 
here once was the seal to the underworld broken. And tonight, as uh, Arthur not very nice the power to save the world. With Lucas's life as a sacrifice. I'm gonna say that answer's yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, ow, ow. It suddenly did become Killer 7. Like, what are they fucking. <laughs> yeah! Ironically, I've still have not figured out how to make you. How to make you feel better. But I made you float, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> First episode, a kid already died. <laughs> our, uh, Welcome our... to Tales of Berseria. <laughs> our protagonist <laughs> is burning alive, apparently. Let him go. This is an offering to the world. And you're ruining it. Why would you? Nothing can save him now. No, well, yeah, no. now. You know, like <laughs> it fucking impaled everyone. <laughs> Ever a slave to emotion. It's always the hot one. <laughs> Anime. <laughs> you changed art styles. That's fucked up. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> first episode, we, uh, went some places very quick. Sure did. <laughs> this feels like the ending to the game happened. No. <laughs> this is like the ending to, like, an average village RPG or something. <laughs> Meanwhile, here's to a job well done. <laughs> I'm not really sure why I did any of that. <laughs> Ow. Who's it? Oh, okay, that's her. Uh, kiddo, uh, got something on your hand there. <laughs> Very Vampire Hunter D shot in there. <laughs> <laughs> By that, I mean, uh, it reminds me a little bit of a shot for that Phil Collins video, which is what Vampire Hunter D is inspired by. <laughs> appreciate how instead of like going with like um that's damage that her voice acting certainly changed man Christina V is really good at her job <laughs> um I like how they didn't go the route with her just being like you know introspecting on why you would do that and what she should do I'm just, just gonna fucking kill you yeah there's a simplicity in that I, I like. <laughs> so that's something about this game that I really enjoy. This is a game 
So I'm not going to say too much, but this is a game where we are playing as the villain. Oh. Sort of. Again, kind of, sort of. Kind of like Nightmare, then. <laughs> it's, it's... Nico! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, man. Now I'll never get married. Look at this. Look at this girl. Look, you've given her trauma. Demon blight has spread through the village. Do not fear. So Arpa was right then. As an exorcist. I, Artorius Colbrand. Artorius Colbrand. <laughs> I don't know why that uh, that name struck me so good. Oh no, now he is a place blue character. My answer. Velvet. Arthur kind of looks like a fighting game character too. Like the one arm sword stick. Kind of like, um, Viking, right? A little bit. Oh god, he looks a little bit like Jin from Blaze Blue, yeah. Better, obviously. But Much better. Yeah. Even though this guy's kind of a dick too. But... Much more compelling villain. Yeah. He kind of looks like, uh... Make you pay. Actually, he looks a lot like, uh, the final boss of the first Rival Schools, now that I think about it. He kind of has the same vibes to him. And that's how we ended up locked in a dungeon. <laughs> Level up! <laughs> <laughs> She's like, thanks. So anyway, after all that, like... <laughs> Hyper speed trauma. Uh. <laughs> so did my world come to an end? And for three long years. Tiger Man. <laughs> I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Sick. Devouring. I really demons. wish I. Had a clothing store nearby. <laughs> so I could live. We'll fix that. So I could live <laughs> long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance. This is trauma speed running. <laughs> <laughs> We're front loading all the trauma in this game. Yeah. I promise you these first two hours are not entirely representative of the tone of this game as a whole. They're a little representative, but this game isn't all just... Angst. Yeah. <laughs> After a certain point, it just kind of becomes performative angst. <laughs> it's not exactly Lisa the Painful. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a game that mixes uh, funny and... Hey. That game is something, is all I'll say. <laughs> She does look like a Blaze Blue character. Yeah. Quite a lot of this cast looks like Blaze Blue characters. Ah! Are we gonna have funny moments with Berserk Demon Arm Girl? Yes. Okay, cool. Many of them. Where is he? Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> there will be a Where's Arthur? I feel like she just starts sounding like that now. <laughs> a pet? Wait, what? I don't know, you don't know, the pressure, but look, I'll do this for him. <laughs> dash, gotta dash. I don't do tutorials anymore. If you are not, I will kill you. Ready yourself. Yeah, it's just like I'm back in my face picking days. Ah, nostalgia. <laughs> yeah. You want a video of a, a real video of a hog getting started? Why are you holding back? You know to this. block. Well done. <laughs> you pass. 
Of course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no Moloch. <sighs> the hell is a Moloch? Let me tell you what has transpired these past three years. Some bullshit, that's what. <laughs> Define Moloch. Throughout the land, I am 19 or 20 years old and I don't understand any of this. <laughs> Tell me where Artorius is. Getting right to the point, okay. You may find him in the capital city of <laughs> in Midgand. You don't want to know the lore? I'm not going to tell you the lore. I would mean, battle one, too. <laughs> Instead of going for an exposition, she's just like, no, tell her she is. It's, or where they are. It's like, alright, fine. Jeez. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. It did really A dumb host shit. Of Malachim <laughs> descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcist quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard right the people the Pope. and a sword He's against sword demons. <laughs> Artorius called right of the start of Doom 2016. I assume. For the main villain is trying to explain himself to you and he just keeps punching all the monitors he pops up on. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. There needs to be just more media when the villain just keeps getting interrupted. Uh, God Hand. Okay, that's the one I think of. <laughs> where you, there is a prompt whenever a boss is expositing at you that is shut him up. <laughs> that's really good. But I think of uh, Asher's Wrath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, mess, I mixed them up. Asher's Wrath. <laughs> I can see the similarities, honestly. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. Uh-huh. Whatever, <laughs> kid. Why do birds fly? Oh, wait, he already asked that. <laughs> I have shattered your yoke. We must hurry. Your yoke. <laughs> I have shattered your yoke. Now your eggs are ruined. <laughs> you now won't... you will have to scramble them. <laughs> you won't be getting those fluffy pancakes today, Velvet. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, Zash. <laughs> what are you doing? Squeezing past. Okay, Chris Woosen. <laughs> Ow. Prodigy's Glacite. Whatever that means. There are a lot of words being thrown at me right now that I do not understand. <laughs> Broken your yoke. <laughs> oh, what is the yoke? Attack, heart attack, defense, heart defense, focus. A yoke is a wooden beam normally used between a pair of oxen and other animals to enable them to pull together on a load of working in pairs. I don't think that's what that was. <laughs> uh, right. Velvet's not looking too hot right now. Nah, probably just a shower. I cannot look at, I cannot do any of these. I like how her hair, I mean, uh, her clothes and everything got dirty, but her hair is perfect still. <laughs> her braid's a little fucked up. Yeah. Still, that's pretty impressive. So I guess I'll probably go until we hit a save point. Yeah. Whatever that is. We're in the dark zone. She's got more of, like, a Tifa hairstyle now. Yeah. <laughs> she can't shower because La Laphiset died before he could invent the shower. <laughs> Or fragment, or fragment of ore. Well, I said I would be mad if that kid died, and I'm, uh, I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> and so is Velvet. Yeah. That kid was cool, damn it. <laughs> Are you as mad as Velvet? I'm uh, probably a little too tired to be that mad. <laughs> the demon arm comes later. <laughs> There are weapons in the room ahead. Thanks. <laughs> That's not I mean, weapons. I'm not sure if I need a weapon. I am a weapon right now. <laughs> you see this thing? Look at this gun. Stairs. How far ahead? 
It's a room. There's a lot of stairs. <laughs> I haven't done much working out in the last three years. Just just did some murder. And she was in like a hole for like three years. That's not a lot of no room to do cardio. Room. I can see that. Take what you need from here. From the corpses? Oh. I'll take that. It looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. Rope. This will be useful. Rope. And bombs. Quite a blade. A katana. I know that sword. Stormhow. Stormhow. Well, it's too big for me. I don't care. I'm not taking it. <laughs> it's a I don't care about a lot right now, sirs. And if I can't use it, it's worse. I don't care about a sword. Yeah, look at this stupid ass outfit. That that is a mess. <laughs> then again, I ripped them right. apart myself. Are you ready then? <laughs> also, why did you rip all that? <laughs> oh, hello. I mean, she's cool, but luckily they had a hot topic down here. <laughs> Look, you try putting on clothes with one of your arms is like a creepy demon shredding arm. Oh yeah, that is a good point. I already told you, I am his Malik no longer. Okay, what the hell? A Malik in this world is a type of kind of angel-like spirit is there that is bonded with a so with an exorcist. An okay, it is actually the Semitic yes. word for angel. Yes. So. so this game is technically a sequel, prequel thing to a different Tales game, and that used a different word for the same concept. Hmm. Called it Seraphim. Oh yeah, that word I'm familiar with. Our ship is on the back. But they mean the same thing. Okay. Got it. The back docks. Like demons. Anyways, now that you can, you might be able to like fashion menu. Or item menu first. Not yet, it looks like. Prisoner clothes. Hat style. So, Unless you already have it in the Not yet. I have hat style though. <laughs> Maybe I could just put the braid back on too. Uh, yes. Hat stall makes her look like a chairperson from Project Justice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I actually like this. I like her kind of messed up braid. But there is villager clothes and fucked up villager clothes. Uh, <laughs> For yep. now, I'm going to keep the story outfit mm. until I can get all the other ones I have. Because right. I have a lot of DLC outfits. I just can't <laughs> access them yet. Got rope. Alrighty. Let us proceed onwards. To find a save point eventually. And maybe some bombs? Bombs? <laughs> oh, no. hello. Wasn't on the map for some reason. We should probably save, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Tarnish silver coin. Inaccessible. <laughs> it won't. It won't I, I, I thought it... I read that as I won't open. <laughs> it's like, well, you're I not a door. <laughs> I won't open up to people. <laughs> okay. Last... What? The last time I did that, um... My, uh, the... whole family died. <laughs> Some weird dude turned everybody into vampire, uh, werewolves. <laughs> okay. So that was fun. And we haven't even been playing two hours yet. Yeah. And this is the first of many. You decide. That was a whiplash. Yeah, that was a... That was some tone right there. <laughs> <laughs> we went from, like... Yeah, we went from, like... You know... Like a standard PS1 RPG style, and then... Uh... And then everything happened so much. 
A lot of death happened. <laughs> I'll miss you in your cheerful way, Piggle Boars. <laughs> ah, those halcyon days of hunting Piggle Boars in the village. <laughs> it's all because you killed them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they were in cahoots with Arthur. Arthur's... And sorry. They were like, kill Lappy said, it'll make Velvet mad. <laughs> If this were uh, a Suda 51 game, a pickle boar would be the uh, cause of all this. <laughs> in the meantime, we're going to send you over to... Uh-oh. Oh. In the meantime, we're going to send you all over to... Uh, so I think appears to be doing Project Diva right now. All right. Until then, everybody, have a good night. We'll see you on Saturday for, I don't know, something. Something. Probably King of Fighters? Probably. Uh, maybe. For now, Say. stay safe, stay sexy, stay tuned, don't have your uh, family get killed. Oh, skip, hit skip one. Quick. Hit, always skip the opening. Uh, stay out of trouble. Good night. Good night. Garbage. Garbage. Put it in the trash. So, see if we have any ideas for Saturday. Um... <laughs> uh, I was thinking since the game I wanted to play through is pretty short already, maybe I'll just do like that a couple of times for like two Saturdays or something. Sure. Uh, I saw a, play, a full play for uh, if you pass it off, it'll take like maybe two and a half hours. So. <laughs> Who was streaming? Uh, Slash. Nami, how are you enjoying for